torsion here i am marking this question let's read what is given here determine the dimensions of hollow shaft with a diameter ratio of 3 is to 4 which is to transmit 60 kilowatts at 200 rpm the maximum shear stress in the shaft is limited to 70 mega newton per meter square and angle of twist 3.8 degree in a length of 4 meter take g that is modulus of rigidity as 80 gpa now this is the question which we have in front of us whatever is given in this question we will write that in the form of data first so let us start with this problem in data first i'll write the type of shaft here we are having hollow shaft determine the dimensions of hollow shaft with a diameter ratio of 3 is to 4 this 3 is to 4 is the diamond you can say diameter ratio of inner diameter versus external diameter so here i have small d divided by capital d is equal to 3 by 4 hence we get the relation small d is equal to 3 by 4 times of capital d if we calculate this this would be 0 0.75 so here I am getting inner diameter as 0 0.75 times of external diameter which is to transmit 60 kilowatts. Power is given. Here I will convert it into watts. At 200 rpm so speed is given. The maximum shear stress in the shaft is limited to 70 mega newton per meter square so fs value 70 mega newton per meter square this will be same as 70 newton per mm square because it is mega pascal angle of twist is 3.8 degree so theta is given 3.8 degree i'll convert it into radian that is multiplying by pi dividing by 180 so therefore theta value it comes out to be in terms of radian it's 0 0.06 radians. Next, length is 4 meter. The length of the shaft that is given is 4 meter. So 4000 mm. And modulus of rigidity is given in the question. Now, here they are telling us to find the dimensions of hollow shaft. For dimensions of hollow shaft, we should know how much is the inner diameter and how much is the external diameter of the shaft so with this data available let us try to get the solution for this problem since power is given i'll start with the equation of power since power transmitted by hollow shaft is given by we know the formula of power it is t is equal to 2 pi nt by 60 therefore t is equal to p into 60 divided by 2 pi n here power is given in this question it is 60 kilowatts so here i can write this as 60 into 10 raised to 3 watts multiplied by 60 divided by 2 pi into n rpm is 200 so therefore from this i will get the torque value as 2.87 into 10 raised to 3 newton meter now this torque which we are getting i will convert it into newton mm so it becomes 2.87 into 10 raised to 6 newton millimeter after getting torque if we look in the data here we are having fs so from fs we would be using strength criteria and from modulus of rigidity we would be using rigidity criteria now I'll say that 
based on strength criteria we know the strength equation as p by j is equal to fs by r therefore p value i have got it as 2.87 into 10 raised to 6 j value for hollow shaft it is pi by 32 capital d raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 shear stress fs is 70 r that is that will be equal to d by 2 now after this here i will keep d raised to 4 minus d raised to 4 on one side and this d also would be on one side and calculating all other terms simplifying this i will get it as capital d raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 upon capital d is equal to 208 point 4, 5 into 10 raised to 3 that is I have shifted capital D and small d on one side and all the numbers on one side calculating it I am getting my answer now I will say that therefore the relation which they have given that small d is 0 0.75 times of capital D raised to the power 4 divided by D so from this if I go on calculating that is here the coefficient is 1 1 minus 0 0.75 raised to the power 4 and here I would be getting this therefore 0 0.683 d cube is equal to 208.45 into 10 raised to 3 hence from this I will be getting the value of D I will divide 208.45 10 raised to 3 by 0 0.683 and then taking the cube root my answer of capital D comes out to be 67.3 mm now after this I will say that since small d is equal to 0 0.75 times of capital D this relation is given Therefore, small d will be equal to 0 0.75 times of 67.3 and hence small d value comes out to be 50.48 mm. Now these are the diameters of hollow shaft which I am getting from strength criteria. Similarly, I would be calculating the diameters by using rigidity criteria and out of them, whichever is greater that diameters we are going to select. So now let us start with the rigidity criteria. I will say that based on rigidity criteria here I have the formula T by J is equal to G theta by L therefore T value it was 2.87 into 10 raised to 6 j for hollow shaft is pi by 32 capital D raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 is equal to g theta by l here g is 80 into 10 raised to 3 theta we have found out in radians it was 0 0.06 and the length of the shaft it is given in this question length is 4000 mm that is 4 meters from this I will be keeping capital D raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 on one side shifting all the numbers on the other side calculating I will be getting this d raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 is equal to 22 into 10 raised to 6 now I'll say therefore capital D I'll write as it is small d is given it is 0 0.75 times of capital D therefore from this I would be getting 
the value of d raised to 4 as 32.18 into 10 raised to 6. That is the coefficient here is 1 minus 0 0.75 raised to the power 4. I am getting it as and then dividing it with I am dividing 22 by 10 raised to 6 by the answer. So I am getting d raised to 4. Now here I would be taking the square root twice to get it in terms of d. And hence my capital D comes out to be 75.32 mm. Now I will say that therefore small d is 0 0.75 times of capital D. We know that it is given in the question. So hence I would be getting small d value as 56.45 millimeter. Now, if we compare in case of strength criteria, we were getting external diameter as 67.3. In rigidity criteria, we are getting it as 75.32. Small d, we were getting it as 50.48. Now we are getting it as 56.45. So it is better to select the maximum value as the diameter of shaft. So here I'll say that we are selecting capital D and small d from rigidity criteria as our final answers and here I would be drawing the section of the hollow shaft capital D comes out to be 75.32 our final answer and small d will be inner diameter that is 56.45 so these are the final answers and this would be the cross section of the hollow shaft and here we complete this problem.